Welcome back guys. This is our 41 way ceramic coating, sealants, and waxes longevity test. We're now at the three month mark and we're gonna see how things are holding up. As always, links to where you can purchase these products can be found in the video description. And if you'd like to support the channel, ways to do so are on your screen here. And it is always greatly appreciated because without it, tests like this are not possible. The last 30 days weather, as well as the lifetime weather that this hood has seen is on your screen now. As always, we foam this hood down using Chemical Guys Honeydew Snow Foam, rinse it, foam it again, wash it, and finally rinse it to inspect the hydrophobics and see how everything is holding up. These panels stay outside of our shop 24 seven here in East Texas, exposed to the elements, and it's washed once a month until about the two year mark or until the last one fails. These hoods are rotated either 90 degrees or 180 degrees after each monthly inspection at your guys' request. So with that out of the way, let's see how things are holding up. In videos past, you know that I kind of regret using silver for a hood. So I have edited and adjusted the saturation and the tint on what you're seeing now, just so it'll show up a little bit better on camera. So C-Quartz Finest Reserve, C-Quartz Professional, looking great. Professional definitely looks more hydrophobic than Reserve. You can see that they're both professional only products. Fortador Kevlar coating, we knew that one failed. And Apex Rehydro Bead. Again, this is the beading, not the sheeting. So it's looking pretty tired at the three month mark. DPC T3 and T9, both looking okay. Very hydrophobic. Apex Metal Oxide coating made by Art to Shine, looking good. Extreme Solutions Poly Seal, looking quite weak. Nanoskin Ultra T1 and T3 Pro. Also looking good, but T1's a little less hydrophobic. Nanoskin Ceramic Sealant. That has failed. You see it completely sticking there, finally running off at the very last. Yeah, it's gone. NGNT Pro 1K and 1K Plus. Looking good. Meguiar's 3-in-1. That has failed. Avalon King looks good, looks hydrophobic. Nano Age or Nano Bond, if you compare the two side by side, Nano Bond looks slightly more hydrophobic than Avalon King, although Avalon King is looking good. We're Rixen, Chinese 10H ceramic coating, also looking good. And Gion Can Coat Q2 looking extremely hydrophobic. Drive Auto Nano 9H, the non-graphene version, looks fantastic. McGuire's Hybrid Paint Coating looks very good. I know a lot of you guys have been watching that one, and it's uh, it's definitely performing well. New Finish Ceramic Spray, that's another one that's, you know, they're even though it's owned by Energizer Brands now, when they changed the original formula, something happened. I've got plenty of videos on that. The ceramic spray that they've developed definitely looks like it's doing well. That's three month mark, and it was super easy to use too. Underdog, the Sauce Pro. Even though it's Pro, it's not a professional only coating. Looks good. Glossit 10H, Glossit 5H, and NGNT Pro 2K also looking great. Pro 3K looks good. Griot's 3-in-1 SiO2. So still looking good. It's got a. It's not quite as hydrophobic as like a professional ceramic coating right next to it, but on both, well, really on all sides of it. Uh, G Technic Ultra, that's a professional only. One of the winners in our 42 way that's just retired, and it was it was good. Uh, IGL Premier looking good. Owner's Pride and Tech 580, very similar products along with Speedwipe Speed Coat. All three of those very similar, and they're all performing similarly. Lone Star Ceramic Pre-Production. Looks like it's doing great. IGL Easy Graphene. Also looking good. 
Ilho 12H, we had marked that failed, and Chemical Guys on the bottom here. So just for reference, this hood was sitting on its side, not top or bottom, it was sitting on its side this past month. And even with all that rain, have lots of failures here with the Chemical Guy stuff. Chemical Guy's Hydro Slick, Hydro Charge, both of those are failed. And let's look at Carbon Force. Carbon Force really isn't looking that great either, but it's it's still hydrophobic. It's not, I don't think it's even to the point where we'd call it weak, but it's, it's getting there. And then Ammo Reflex Pro, if I'm not mistaken, isn't that only a one year coating? Maybe, maybe two years is what it's advertised as. It's not looking that great. It's, uh, yeah, not to the point where we'd call it failed, but well, there is your update for the three month mark. Any surprises? Any that you're watching? Any that you're rooting for? I think the, the biggest surprise for me on this one so far is probably the new finish spray ceramic. That one, you know, a lot of people talked about that one and it's inexpensive, somewhere around 10 or $12, something like that, doing very well. So there you go, guys. Thanks again for watching. And as always, make sure you're subscribed. We'll see you soon.